I saw um, your new film, Uncut Gems, yes. uh, uh, about uh, four days ago. You left me the best text. Uh, it is, uh, without reservation, uh, the best uh, film that I have seen in quite a long time. Yeah, it's an it. amazing Thanks. movie. Thank your you, performance buddy. is crazy. Thanks. It's crazy, and you're yeah. getting a lot of the uh, attention for this performance that you truly deserve, and I hope you can enjoy it. I, you have to see this movie. This movie is absolutely incredible. Thanks, it really is. Tony, thank you so much, and I told you. I know you think of me as just the guy that provides ham, but I'm, no way. I'm so proud that of you for this lot. movie. I, love it. I really Thanks am. Thanks for saying that, thank you. Yeah. Go get what on. he's trying to say is in the movie, you deliver ham. <laughs> <laughs> I hammed it up, yeah, I yeah, showed yeah, it. that's what he's saying. Yeah, I, I, uh, it's a ham joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, Hands away. There's nothing I can do. There's uh, nothing so I can do about that yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> he can't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, this, uh, I mean, Uncut Gems, it's this, uh, it's this amazing performance, and they're in on, and I thought about the movie the next day. I yeah. thought about the day after that. Everyone I've, who else has seen the movie, we all need to talk about it. That's it's one so of those movies cool, that man. stays with you. Well, the, the guys who wrote it, the Safdie brothers, and, and, and Ronnie uh, Bronstein, the, these, they, they're, just, they're just young guys who are so enthusiastic and want to do great work, and they, they put me in it. And, but when I, when, when I told them that you liked it, they went nuts. They were like, Conan O'Brien, because they're young. They're like these guys here, like the, these two especially. Just yeah. like, yeah, they really are. I think it was those guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, the other Safety brothers right yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, 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 but, yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, but they just were so happy, and, they, and it's so cool because they talked to me about my old albums and stuff, and they're like, yeah. they're, young, they're young guys who kind of grew up uh, loving you, and, and they tolerated me, and they were... And it's just cool. It's cool. It's cool to be in the, on the other end, having the youth uh, they take care known, of They must have known this character. You nailed this character so thoroughly. They must. Did they write this for you? Because it's they, it's 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 great. It's not you. It's a different person. But yeah. you inhabit this person so completely. It's riveting. It's just riveting. I, 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 they wrote it for me. They uh, like ten years ago, and I was and I and I didn't. You know, they sent it to me. Sandy got a hold of it. My manager. Yeah. He said, absolutely not. And I, <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> not, no, yeah. not ever. <laughs> and so. This is the guy that stopped you from doing Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, raccoon, no, no. It's will kill you, come in. And so he, he, he put a, a pass on that, and then I guess a couple other people they talked to, and that didn't happen, then a, like, Five years later, they offered to me again. I didn't see it, and old Sandy stepped in and goes, what's this? I read this piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no! <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I guess they, they did it again 10 years later, and then, yeah. I, and then I got a hold of it, and, and I saw their other movies. The Safety yeah. Brothers. Yeah, great. Good great time, and, and uh, Daddy Long Legs, and all yeah. these great movies they did, and I got excited to do it with them. And well, there's so many great scenes. There's a scene where, uh, and, and I don't want to give any spoilers for this, but there's a scene where your character gets in a real jam and is uh, <laughs> ends up naked in the trunk of his own car. Yes, yes. And, and he's a gambler, so he's got he's got yeah he's got problems, and he ended up in the trunk. Yeah, he gets in he gets yeah. in trouble with some tough people, and he ends up naked <laughs> in the trunk of his own car. And yeah. uh, is that the kind of scene where you're you're wearing like some flesh colored kind of thing where you're uh, protected? I don't know? know why I didn't. They offered it to me. <laughs> they offered, but I did. I'd rather it's those are so tight and so gross. The tight stuff on me, like a speedo or something, makes makes it looks even even grosser. Yeah. So I was like, ah, let, let's just no one's gonna be watching. And I was nude in the uh, trunk. You see, you're really nude in the trunk. I'm nude in the trunk, and uh, which is good. We shoot the, the bunch of takes. I'm nude in there, and I'm in a trunk alone. So the, the no one's seeing this. The camera's not on. The they gets close, but they don't show the anything. And anyways. That's good, we get the shot, they, we're going to lunch. That's, we got it, let's, you know, an hour lunch and everyone's leaving. And I'm like, oh shit, I gotta, oh no, I gotta get out of uh, the trunk, <laughs> you know? And then and there's all the crew guys hanging out still, no one's rushing to lunch. And I'm like, good lord, will you please go to lunch so I can get out of here? Yeah. And then I'm like, ah, what the hell, I, I, I gotta get, get out and uh, they're gonna see me naked. And then I have that discussion like, do I, do I show them the front or the back? <laughs> and, and there was a sweatshirt in the trunk, so I was like, I can hide something. Both are pretty unpleasant to see. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, 
I went with cover in the front. Yeah, cover the front. Showed yeah. them the back, and apparently they canceled lunch that day. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I would have loved it if you came yeah. out covering your ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Underneath yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey. Now, are, are you, uh, this movie, uh, it's, it's, you know, it, it is a very uh, mature film. Uh, it uh. has some very uh, funny moments in it, but it yeah. is not a comedy in, right. that, in that sense. Are your kids going to see this movie? Well, Adina Manzel's in it. Yeah, and and they to she keep, plays your wife. She's my wife in it, and she's you know uh, a great lady and a great yeah. actress and a great singer. But she's in Frozen, so my kids wanted to come by the set a lot and see her. And I kept saying, Nah, this isn't a good movie for you to come by and blah blah blah. She was very nice to them. She called them and and like would, they would sing on the phone and stuff. That kind of she's awesome. But my kids, I think part of my biggest fear was my kids seeing this movie someday. And my wife was. You know, I want my my wife's cool. She she can handle uh, the the psychotic guy that I played. But my my kids, I don't want to see that. And they were like, Well, when can we see it? Uh, I, I, when we're 15? I said, Nah, maybe after 15. And they were like, 19? I said, I don't know, maybe fi if you when you're 50. <laughs> I don't know. You know, it's like it's weird. It's gonna be weird for them to see one. You know, day. there's a part in the. I mean, you've uh, you've turned in a lot of great uh, dramatic uh, acting turns and and shown your acting chops for a long time. You've done it many times, but in this movie, there's a scene where you really break down, and it is extremely powerful, and it's a terrific scene. And I just remember thinking, like. How do you do that? Like, oh, how do you man. cry like that it's, as an actor? I, it, I, I, don't, I wouldn't be able to do that. You can't, right? Because I don't know why the, how I, what happens is I'm not good at crying in real life. I don't cry that much. Do you guys cry? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's cool. I, yeah, yeah. A quick, quick to cry, Andy? No, not quick to cry, but I, I cry. You let it I'm out? I'm a very sensitive guy, Adam. Yeah. I know you are. You're a great guy, but I didn't know you were a crybaby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, huge. Huge guy. No, but I, when I was a kid, I used to cry all the time. I, I loved it. I loved looking in the mirror when I cried. I'd be in the, I would go down the hall when I was crying and, I hate you. I hate everybody. And I'd cry and go in my room in the, in the bathroom and stare in the mirror and be like, oh, that's what I look like. But um, as I got older, I don't cry. My wife cries. She looks up at me to cry with her. I'm just like, I, I, I don't know how to cry. I'm not great at crying. I don't know. I, 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 I'm nice to my wife crying. I'm like, I hope you feel better. She's like, do you ever cry? I'm like, I don't know how to do that anymore. Yeah. But yeah. so when I did the movie, whenever it says in the, in the, in the script, it said, he has a terrible cry. And I went, oh, no, man, I, 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 let me block that out. And when it comes to the day, I'll just cry and right. we'll figure that out. So uh, it's the day. I'm like, you know, all right, we'll see what happens. The director, Benny, comes uh, on. Benny Safty. Did you guys see Good Time? Anybody see Good Time? Yeah. All right, so he, he's in that movie. He yeah. plays one of the brothers. He cries in that movie. It's unbelievable. He's just, he's just great. So he says, are you ready for the scene? I say, uh, yeah, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. He goes, yeah, yeah, and are you ready to cry? And I go, well, you know, we'll try to get there. If it doesn't, we'll see what happens. And blah, blah. He goes, well, it's got to happen. And I go, yeah, no, but we'll see. You know, we just got to see, you know, we got to play, play the moment. He's like, what do you mean a moment? You got to cry. A terrible <laughs> cry. And then he goes, <laughs> he goes, here's what I do if I want to cry. I think about something. And, and I swear to God, literally like three seconds, I see him. Benny's bawling, crying on my trailer. I'm just going, oh, man. <laughs> he's, he's good at crying. Man. Yeah, yeah. And, and he, something, something where he can connect real quick to something that, upsets him so anyways uh he leaves and i'm like oh shh, i gotta really cry so I, I called my wife up and i said we gotta i gotta cry man like in this next scene and like they, they, i got five minutes to get out there and you got to tell me what i should you know help me out here and she gave me some stuff to think about and then i and i said yeah that's good and i went in there and i was crying i'm pretty good and and the actress julia fox who was, plays sort of your your girlfriend? Right, yeah. right. Yeah, uh, my character's having an affair, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, with with um, it's like my girlfriend, right? And uh, and it's her first movie. She's excellent in the movie, but but uh, she hasn't done uh, a lot of movies. So uh, she, I'm crying immediately. I'm looking up, ready to start the scene, and I Julia said something like, "Are we rolling?" And I was like, "This 
these tears only can last so long. <laughs> <laughs> we we, we got to get in. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I don't know, but, but uh, all good. We got there. Uh, I'm just curious what your wife told you to think about that would made you cry. <laughs> Conan has no ham this year. We have a clip here from uh, Uncut Gems, and I think this is uh, a, a scene where there's so much desperation in this movie, and, and your character has a gambling issue, and yes. uh, I believe this is a scene where you're trying to see if you can pawn something, get some money. I, 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 I want to see. I want to see. I'm not sure what it is. I'm sorry. I believe that's it. Okay, let's You've check it out. You've put no work into this. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> let's take a look at this clip from Uncut Gem. Yeah. You take lightning bets? Yeah, but you don't want any part of lightning bets. Fine. Come on. A thousand dollars a point, okay? Take this. And this is a gift for me. What's I this? Just for, for just what tolerating me for all this time, okay? No, no, no. I already have a Rolex. I don't need your watch. Listen, it probably fell off the truck anyway. Listen, but what do you know? Mm. Gone at this, gone at that. What do you know? I don't know. I just know. Well, I'll tell you what I know. That's the dumbest f***ing bet I ever heard of. I disagree. I disagree, Gary. Yeah. I agree. Uh, my friend Trevor. Uncut Gems. Uncut Gems is in theaters everywhere Christmas Day. Do yourself a favor and, and go and see this film. It will blow you away. I am so happy for you. I'm proud you. of you. Oh, and for that. Absolutely incredible. Thanks, absolutely buddy. incredible. Adam Sandler, everybody.